How to use a peak flow meter. Anyone in this clinic who has asthma has probably been recommended to use a peak flow meter as part of their asthma management. Unfortunately, a lot of us don't know how to use them. And so as you can see here, this is a peak flow meter. As you can see, this is the mouthpiece, this is the exhaust, and this is the dial that goes up as you breathe out. So no flow would drop down to zero, maximum flow would go all the way up to 800 liters per minute. On the side are your zones. And so you can see that this can be moved up and down based on where your doctor has prescribed your zones to be. Once you know what your true zones are, it's important to move them into the appropriate location. And so you can see on this meter, anything above 500 liters per minute would be considered in the green zone. Anything between 500 and 200 would be considered in the yellow zone. Anything below 200 would be considered in the red zone. These numbers correspond to how well your lung function is doing. If you probably remember, during those very difficult breathing tests that we did before you saw us in clinic today, we asked you to blow as hard and fast as you could to give us a number on what your peak flow is. This device does the exact same thing, except it's smaller and handheld. And so if you're ever having any trouble with your asthma or you feel like your breathing is not as good as it's supposed to be, a peak flow meter allows us to guide treatment and allows you to tell us information that we need to help. There's green, there's yellow, and there's red. Obviously green is good, yellow is not so good, red's bad. And so when you see us in clinic, we're going to give you some zones based on what your breathing test looked like so that you can know how your zones are doing and what they're supposed to be. Because everybody's zones are a little bit different. I'm a short guy and so my zones are lower than someone who's very tall. In your clinic, you'll be alerted as to what your active zones should be and where a good number is versus a yellow number versus a red number. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how to use it. Similarly to using an inhaler, you should be standing, relaxed, and ready to breathe. Once you're ready to go, as opposed to a deep breath in, like when you're using an inhaler, you're gonna make a forced breath out. So relax, hold it with your good dominant hand, take a deep breath in and then blow as hard and as fast as you can through the peak flow meter. And you can see that that red dot has now moved up to where it needs to be. My peak flow meter today was 550 liters a minute. Probably need to use my inhaler.